I am pleased to be with you today, and I'm really passionate about the opportunity that I have to share with you about this topic. If we are to reach our college attainment and educational goals in the state of Utah, it is critical that each of our Utah youth have a caring adult that is caring and supporting them and shaping their educational journey. Think of those young children in your sphere of influence. Are you talking to them about their dreams, about their hopes? Are you connecting what they are learning in the classroom to the world around them? How are you shaping their young lives? If not you, then who? Not to worry, we actually already have a team on the ground in our schools that are prepared to help us do this work. If you think about this, can you realize that each of our school counselors are responsible for each and every child in our school buildings? If you think about our teachers, they're responsible for the students in their courses and the coursework that they are learning. Our principals are administrators that are worried about budgets, they're worried about the safety of our school, they're worried about behavioral issues and also working with our parents. But our school counselors are uniquely positioned to identify needs of each and every one of our students and set them on a trajectory to college and career readiness. I am not a school counselor, but I have the privilege in my role as assistant commissioner and helping the Board of Regents and their strategic initiatives around participation and completion to work alongside our school counselors in each of our schools across the state of Utah. And over the past five years, as I have been in their schools and I have worked with them, I have identified that we have some unique barriers and challenges that are really setting us back from reaching our potential of helping all students be college and career ready. So what I posit today is three opportunities that really, I believe, will help us advance our critical agenda um, around moving forward with college and career readiness. First of, you, first of all, I think we need to be critical at looking at our systems. And what I mean by this is how are our counselors spending their time? Are they in clerical roles? Are they doing test proctoring? Are they doing bus and hall and lunchroom duty? Are we placing them in the critical areas in which we need, where they need to be meeting with families, doing four-year planning, helping all students choose rigorous coursework to prepare them for high school graduation and college readiness? Where do our high school counselors fit on an organizational chart within our schools? What expectations do we have for each of them around their evaluation and their job descriptions? Have you looked at one recently? Is college and career readiness very evident in what we mean to reach our outcomes? And lastly, I hope they're being viewed by our principals as key members of their leadership teams and really that they are our boots on the ground to change and move forward. The other area that I think that has been holding us back as I engaged in this work over the last few years has been the training of our school counselors. And as I began to work on this nationally with my friends at the Southern Regional Education Board, as they looked across the nation at our school counseling programs, many of them did not have information around college and career readiness. They were mostly around emotional, behavioral issues, around career exploration. Well, we were brave, a number of us in the Southern states and in the state of Utah to take some federal money that we had been given and really gone back to retool what we are doing in pre-service training for our new counselors. We purchased this curriculum in 2012. We put together a statewide customization team of school counselors, of district individuals, access professionals, the State Office of Education, the Board of Regents, and we have now infused this brand new college and career training into our two programs at Utah State University and the University of Utah about helping high school counselors use data to make informed decisions, critical information about the college application and financial aid. Our new graduates are coming out with these skills that are necessary to help our students move in the direction in which we achieve. I want to applaud the University of Utah for infusing this curriculum into a number of their different courses. Utah State now has a standalone course directed for school counselors around college and career readiness. And as we look to those 400 programs across the nation for school counselors, only five of them in the nation have anything to do with college and career readiness, and two of them are here in Utah. 
The other piece that I wish to applaud is what we're doing in professional development. We have 800 plus counselors that are already in our schools. What are we doing to invest in them? We within the Utah system of higher education have actually offered um, over six years period of time our own counselor conference in which we train over 600 school counselors on an annual basis around scholarships, around diversity, around empowering parents and preparing for college. Our programs that we are doing within higher ed need to have critical components for school counselors. It's not that they don't wanna be a part of this conversation. A lot of times they haven't known how. They're relying on their own experience to jump in. Our Step Up to Higher Education campaign has built a toolkit directly for school counselors to engage in this work and know better how to service families. We're now 18 months into a brand new program called College Application Week that is going into schools and helping school counselors. We're working with 50 schools this year to help counselors and students fill out the college application so that they can transition into um, higher education. And the last piece, in our access programs, we in higher ed, when we are working in the schools, are we critically developing tools for school counselors to be seen as leaders? We have seen that with our Utah Scholars Outreach Program, and over the past two years have developed a 10th grade component just for school counselors so they can be seen as leaders and have those tools to advance. And finally, my third point, what necessary supports do we have for school counselors to be successful? I have been told that our school counseling ratio is 354 students to one counselor. We simply need more in the state of Utah. We need more earlier. Very few districts have elementary school counselors. There is a recent study out by the College Board. If we were to put one more highly trained school counselor into high schools, we see baccalaureate enrollment raised by 10 percentage points in one high school. Their power is immense. Their training is really important. But when they are trained, they're often called to work on responsive services that are truly need in our school with dropout prevention, suicide, bullying, and cutting. These are real issues within our school. So can we be creative about the work that we're doing around college and career readiness? I posit to you that there are successful programs out there. They just need to be ramped up. One of them is the Utah College Advising Corps which puts near-peer students, college graduates, back into high schools and helps our high school seniors achieve their dream for thrilling out the college application through the FAFSA process and then on to high school graduation. We've worked with the governor's office this year as well and putting um, also paraprofessionals through this additional training. The other piece that I've been noodling around is can we take those of us that have a baccalaureate degree, that have some desire to be in our high schools and in our junior highs and give us some certification to help students be college and career ready. Just finally, I just think we're at a critical crossroads. How are counselors spending their time? Are we investing in training? Are we being innovative with our solutions? This is a quote. This is actually comes from an interview from two months ago with Education Week as I was reached out to about what we're doing in Utah on it. How apropos that I get to actually quote myself today. But what I wanted to share with you is I want our school counselors to be empowered. I see them as being a part and critical to this conversation. They are an untapped resource. They are leaders within our school. And I believe that they hold the keys to changing the college and career readiness game here in Utah. Thank you.